Today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Go over and get you a free audiobook, 30-day free trial over at www.audibletrial.com slash nerdcave. You can be getting, picking up Timothy Zahn's new book, Thrawn. It's freaking awesome. Or you can get Ahsoka. You can get all these Star Wars books because everybody loves Star Wars. If you don't love Star Wars, what are you doing with your life? There's over 180,000 titles, though, to choose from. You can get it on your iPhone, your Android, your Kindle. And if you have an MP3 player and what are you doing with your life, you can get that there as well. So go over to audibletrial.com slash nerdcave and grab you one of those new books. Get smart. We read at the Nerd Cave. We read. Build it beautiful. What's up, everybody? This is Zach. And Robbie. With the Nerd Cave Podcast, episode 210 of this thing. I was going to say, you paused. 210. 210. It's a lot of anything. Yeah. 210, 210. 210. Yeah. There's no and. Two and one zero episodes in the can, already out there in the wild, procreating. You get Pokeballs and you can catch them. Yep. You gotta catch them all. It's all available over on that thing with an address. You can go check it out. Yeah, you Robbie, have tons of podcasting platforms you yeah. can find it on. Robbie, how have you been? Uh, pretty good. Uh, just getting into some new stuff at work. Uh, I go all next week to a membership training to learn how to open up accounts and close accounts and other stuff, but that's like the majority of something that I'll be doing. But uh, big story comes from Sacred Heart, the gastroenterology center where my girlfriend works. Mm-hmm. She had a coworker get a phone call from this man, and he was like, talking about stuff that's wrong with him and he's like hey he's like you single she's like yeah but she's like he's like let me take you on a date she's like she's like no thank you but he's like they told me that you'd go go on a date and she's like who told you he goes <laughs> these nuts and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she told me that story this week and I died laughing I was like that's <laughs> That's a way to prank call people. I yeah, was like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's good. Like make yourself so unappealing that no one would <laughs> ever want to go out with you, yeah. and then, mm. then ask someone out. And be like, oh yeah, I I poop blood <laughs> <laughs> three days out of the week. Yeah, I mean, I know you have my record, and I have like no intestines and all, and I have irritable bowel syndrome and all this other good stuff. But will you go on a date with me? Because my nuts told me that you would go on a date with me. <laughs> let's, let's avoid spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, none of, none of that. No, no pizza, <laughs> spaghetti. Lactose intolerant as well. <laughs> It sounds like my life. <laughs> <laughs> Story of our life. Uh, how was your week? Uh, it's been a long week. Uh, it's been a long two weeks. It's going to be another long week this week, but um, everything's going well. Um, got the idea for the next year's show together. Nice. Uh, it's going to be about New York. New York, New York. Yeah. So nice. You had to name it twice. So, yeah, it's just been a, been a long week, you know, working so, at the gold mine. Will you be playing, sprinkling some Sinatra in? Oh, yeah. I mean, I figured New York, I yeah. mean, you have to. I never, like, when someone asked, you know, if they would ask me, like, two months ago, what show are you going to be doing, I would never would have thought it would have been that. I had a totally different idea. And then they would have asked, is it going to have a ton of Alicia Keys in there? I'd be like, no. <laughs> but it does now. <laughs> hey, so I like Alicia Keys. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I do, too. It's just, I never would have thought that would have been the route that would have went. Cause, like, it's so funny at work, like, cause we, I'm on the front line now and I can hear the radio better. And I mean, like, you have Alicia Keys, you have, uh, Vanessa, the one that, I have no idea. Making my way downtown. I know the yeah. song, like, and, but I always picture the people, like, knocking the mess out of their heads now. Uh, I, it's either that or it's the, the guy from White Chicks. Yeah. But, I'll be sitting there with a customer and I'll just start without even thinking about it like I'm starting singing it and like my coworker Bianca's like like who are you serenading and I was I look and I'll be like there's some dude I was like and I look and I was like this guy and because and, and I, I was singing um, that Michael Bublé 
you're everything. And I oh, was, yeah. And she was like, those are some pretty intimate words you're singing to him. And he goes, oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm the singer at work now. So, it's fun. Could you be a wedding singer? Such a great movie. Yeah. I love that movie. Anyway, back to your week, New York. Yeah, it it, it went well. Uh, had our banquet, celebrated all the kids' hard work for this year. So, I feel good. Just this weekend has just drained everything out of me. Busy weekend or just felt like poo yesterday. Like I was going to like do a, like a long live stream because Amy had our our her bridal shower yesterday. So I was like, oh, I'm going to sit down in a stream like five hours. You know, just play knock out injustice to you on that. When we got Chick Fil A, oh lord! Did Jesus Chicken hurt you? Oh man, I was dying. Like, you, I was, you I was like, cramp- did you bless it? I was cramping. Like I was, I was, I felt like did you I get was. Get your model. I, I, <laughs> I needed something, but it was like until eleven o'clock. I felt like I was going to die. Man, there you go, guys. There's my my stomach poo story for the week. <laughs> That's what you come here for. Yeah. Our, our bowel syndrome that we have. <laughs> Guys, if you want to get this podcast early, you can go over to Patreon. <laughs> <bowel syndrome. laughs> you can go over to patreon.com slash nerdcave. Check out all of our awesome tiers. If you want to get everything early, you can start tossing us at a dollar and get our exclusive bonus podcast. And then from there, you can become even more powerful. You could reach over 9000 If you gave us over $9,000. Oh, oh, God, I'd God. pass out. Yeah. Robbie... Would shave his beard off. Hell, that, 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 that. I would shave my beard off for nine thousand. Yeah, I would. I would shave my beard off for nine thousand. I, I would be. I did it for ten thousand before, so. I was say I'd shave my. Well, I almost said my head, but <laughs> well, <laughs> I would shave. I would shave my head again. Just for you, no. I'd shave beard, chest hair. Butt hair, leg hair. All right, we're getting too graphic now. But guys, you can go over to patreon.com slash nerdcave. Toss us a few dollars. If you don't have the money to toss, that's fine as well. You can go over to youtube.com slash nerdcave network. Get the podcast broken up segment by segment, day by day, until Friday, where we post the full thing on podcast services and YouTube. And if you can't afford it, there's other favors that you can do for us. You can go like our Facebook page. Like our Facebook page. Share our videos. Be yeah, awesome. There's, there's, other, there's other things you can mm-hmm. do. I mean, so there's not all all financial. We appreciate those who do, but there's other ways that you can get involved with the Nerd Cave. Like I've had this since December. Amy's mother got it for us, but I've never used it until today. I was like, this like it's a mechanism here. Like it opens up and everything. Contraction. Yeah, like it keeps everything cold. I have lukewarm water in here, <laughs> so my vocal cords work, but. It's cool because I'm like, oh. Let me push my button. Yeah, let me push my, pushing up my buttons, babe. Pushing on my buttons, babe. <laughs> All right, let's get into the news. Uh, first sad off, news. we have some sad news. Soundgarden frontman, Audio Slave, and several other bands. Um, frontman singer Chris Cornell dies at 52. Chris Cornell, the lead singer for Soundgarden and Audio Slave, has died. He was 52. As reported by the New York Times, Cornell died in Detroit on Wednesday night, shortly after Soundgarden's performance at Fox Theater. A statement was released Thursday afternoon from Wayne County Medical Examiner saying the cause of the singer's death was suicide by hanging. According to the Detroit Police Department spokesman Dante Freeman officers entered the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino after receiving a call about alleged suicide. He said the man's wife called a family friend to check on him, and the friend forced his way into the room and found him on the bathroom floor, unresponsive with a a band wrapped around his neck. Freeman didn't specify the man's identity, only describing him as a white male whose date of birth was uh, July 20th, 1964, which matches that of Cornell's. Um... So, big shout out to uh, that family. Uh, we, our thoughts and prayers go out to them, the friends and family of Chris Cornell, um, a big legend in the music industry. Oh yeah, and to go out that way is it's rough. Which I mean, it shows that you know when it comes down and all the lights and all the the, the sound equipment and everything's gone that even the big-time celebrities are just normal people, and they could be faced with normal day-to-day issues that we face, which is, you know, depression, anxieties, and all that stuff. So, you know, just because, I mean, look at Robin Williams. Everybody thought he was the happiest man in the world. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, 
everybody faces their own demons. So, I mean, just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean that life's on easy street. Yeah, and guys, if you ever have any thoughts or anything, please reach out to somebody that can help. Um, because doing that, it you're you're hurting everyone else around you. I know you're hurting right then, but please reach out to friends and family. There's people that care about you. You're not alone. No matter what you're going through, you're you're not alone. Yeah. So I thought some prayers go out to Chris Cornell's family and friends. So some more lightheartedness. Yes. There's a man that has sued his date for texting during Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, no, this is just this is a good story. The plaintiff, Brandon Vesmar, is suing for the price of he paid to a 3D screening of the film, which is exactly $17.31. The Austin American Statesman reports. Vesmar claims that 15 minutes into the movie, his date, who remains anonymous, started texting and ignoring Vesmar's request to turn off the phone after using it 10 to 20 times. Yeah. While damages sought are modest, the principle is important as the uh, defendant's behavior is a threat to civilized society. It's I true. like where this guy's going. Why is she I, snapping? Uh, we, we, I was like, why is she snapping? I was confused. Well, it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's like... Like you go to a poetry thing. Yeah, it's like, sort of like clapping because it's louder. You do like... Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not civilized enough for that. Yeah, not. So you are a threat to civilized society. <laughs> um, that comes from his petition filed to a small claims court. Vesmar's date said she was asked to pay him back for the ticket but refused to do so because he took me on a date. After learning about the claim, Alamo Draft House CEO Team League offered Vesmar a $17.31 gift certificate to settle a lawsuit. In an email he sent the American Statement, League said he agrees that the date's excessive texting during the screening is a threat to civilized society, but is also concerned of our courts being clogged with super... <laughs> Superficious. Superfluous. Superfluous, yes. Oh, I, didn't, I thought that was a... Uh, yeah. Like, it still I'm it, it works out. It still works out. So yeah, what would you do if you went on a date and that person is like texting up a storm during the movie that you've been ready for for months? I can act this out. Okay. <laughs> do you know it's actually illegal to take someone's phone? I don't care. I'm just saying. Hey, you guys, just committed a felony. Guys, guys, we need to climb Charles That's Stewart. a crime against humanity, though. <laughs> Which one's worse? <laughs> guys, guys, down in the front, shut up. Try to watch the movie. <laughs> you be quiet, person with the face. <laughs> the off-camera person <laughs> with the face. Of course I have a face. Why wouldn't I have a face? I'm a normal person who has a face. Right now. <laughs> that sounds like you're a robot. Right no, now, I have with the, the chair, well, now she's turned around, but the chair was blocking her body. She's reminding me of, like, the... Learning. Cheshire cat, they call it. Uh, it gets the yeah. head. <laughs> I don't think it goes. Ma. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure it just goes. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! Now this was some pretty big news at the end of the week here, yeah. and I think a lot of people are excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for the person <clears throat> playing it, but I'm not excited for the movie. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting. I'm, yeah. I'm ready I to think see. It'll be entertaining. I'm ready to see this person like interact with another person yeah. that's in this universe. But Tom Hardy is to Tom Holland. Which Tom Holland? Spider Speeder Man. Speederman. Tom Hardy is to play Eddie Brock in the Venom movie with the Zombieland Ruben Fisher Flesher to set to direct. I butchered the mess out of that. See, probably Fleischer or Fleischer. IGN can Alicia. confirm Hardy's involvement as Brock in the film from Sony's Marvel Universe, which will be released October 5th, 2018. Production will start this fall. Venom will be the first film debuting Sony's bid to build its own Marvel Universe, despite Sony's unique deal with Marvel Studios to include Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's not a spinoff from the existing MCU films. Spider-Man Homecoming director John Watts discussed how the films won't be connected earlier this year, uh, and we talked about that pretty in depth. Um, so, what are you? What are y'all thoughts on Old Bane himself getting to play another villain? You merely adopted the darkness. 
<laughs> nah, I um, uh, I'm excited that that it is Hardy that is playing mm-hmm. Venom, but the Venom movie in itself, uh, it just seems just kind of thrown out there, like like. It was the pasta noodle that actually stuck to the wall and everything else fell. Like, yeah. I, I just, I love Venom. I love Venom as a villain. Uh, Ven- Venom, Carnage, all of them. It just doesn't make sense to come out with it now because we haven't even seen Venom in any of the Spider-Man movies except for, obviously, the the older ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that movie was amazing. No, okay, well, I actually have an answer to that. It's not a great answer, but it's an answer. Because, yeah. um... Originally, with the uh, with the Andrew Garfield Spider Mans, they were going to continue making them. Yeah. And but of course, you know that didn't work out. But they were going. They were giving a bunch of villains their own. Aunt May was even going to have a movie. Yeah, totally. <laughs> no, she was. Like, I'm not even kidding. Keep I, going though. Okay. Um, they were going to give the villains each their own spinoff. So that, and then they were they were going to make a Sinister Six movie mm-hmm. in that universe. But even though the Andrew Garfield stuff fell through, they still because they announced the um, the villain movies like way way long ago, and since they'd already announced them, like they kind of had to. I mean, they didn't have to, but they were like, no, yeah. we're still gonna make them. So. Yeah, I mean, I get it. It's gonna give us more of a backstory for when they actually do bring these characters. Oh, sure, but sure. with them not crossing, it's not gonna be the same people playing them. No. no. Yeah, which is which kind of sucks. Like Spider Man will come over and like fight these villains, but. You won't see them like, even like even just like swinging through or flying through New York City or men. You know they can mention them, but they won't be the same actors. Yeah, uh, I'm excited in a way. Um, hopefully excited, but you know reserved at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I mean you uh, gotta be. I'm I'm curious because this has the possibility of having some actually interesting villains. Um, because Spider-Man and Batman have the best rogues gallery. Yeah, of, hands down. Oh, absolutely. And them actually taking time to give movies for each of these villains will make them so much better than the crappy Marvel villains that we've seen movie in every time. You know, it's really sad when Loki is still your best villain, and that was from ages ago. Yeah. And now he's like he's like he's really more he's a like good an guy. anti-hero, like or. Like he's not like I mean like he's he's still he's still I he's mean villainous? he's a dick but he's not a dick I mean yeah yeah, yeah. Tango Charlie Fox Car do you okay never mind the code for yeah 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 he was a good villain yeah like I'm going I hated how it ended with him but I mean yeah like my plan is to like brainwash a lot of people so like I have sleeper cells like everywhere and yeah. then just like call them up and, like hello and like start naming off like and they're like yes and we're, like do this and like they bring me a ham sandwich <laughs> thanks man <laughs> I call for dinner for schmucks and he goes I release you and they're like how do I get here I never well, watched that movie oh it's so funny what movie uh dinner for schmucks with Steve Carroll oh, I mean I wanted to see that I never got to though Yes, I have watched that where he like had like little rats or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. I remember watching that then. If you enjoyed that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want gaming content, you can go over to Nerd Cave Gaming right there. If you want to support us, you can check out Patreon right there. If you want more videos, check them out right here. Go ahead, pick one of them. I wonder which one you're going to do. You're going to be cool. You'd pick any of them. All four of them. You'd be awesome. <laughs>